Hi there guys and girls. Um, I'm about to uh, show you guys a Mortal Kombat Conquest review, but before I get into that, I just wanted to address a few things. When I put up the last few reviews, a lot of people started asking, you know, where I got the Mortal Kombat Conquest uh, TV show from and things like that. Um, well, in Australia, believe it or not, they actually re released the TV show. And I know a lot of people out there have DVDs and, that, and such, but Australia is the only place that has the proper Warner Brothers licensed DVDs. Um, for some reason they came out here, I don't know why. Um, I know, you know, if they came out in America, it'd do a lot better. You know, there, there are DVDs in the UK, there's DVDs everywhere, Germany and so, and so forth. But only Australia has the proper Warner Brothers licensed ones. And I can tell that because the quality here, it's got the Warner Brothers logo on it and everything. The quality here of these DVDs is, is great. You know, I've got all those other DVDs. You know, I've got them all. And, you know, there's spelling errors and they're by Dodgy Studios. There's footage mis missing. The quality is substandard, you know. You can tell they're just, they're not cr proper, proper, um... It's not proper authoring, you know, whereas this is. Um, so I just wanted to say that. Also, a, lo a lot of people are, um, are, uh, are putting up, you know, you can watch the episodes on YouTube and that. You know, that's fine, but I don't want those in my comments because, you know, um, believe it or not, I actually respect the fact that, um, you know, the DVDs are out, you know. And, and I know you guys do buy them, but I don't like the way people upload TV shows like that. To be honest, I really don't. Um, when I see part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4, part 25, part 50, just to get a whole movie on YouTube, it's just stupid, you know. And, but, you know, with this, I sort of understand, you know, it's hard to find Mortal Kombat Conquest. But I just don't want those comments in my, in my reviews because this is not, my reviews aren't for that. They're not so people can just watch it for free, you know, because they can't find it. It's t to talk about the show, that's all. Um... Yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. Excuse me. Um, I also just wanted to say, uh, you guys might have noticed up the top the new channel banner. Um, that I, I put that up today, you know. Um, that basically allows you to, from YouTube, you can visit my Twitter page, MySpace, Facebook, my website, uh, or my chat room, which I do, believe it or not, I do visit uh, time. Uh, Every so often, you know, I'm not in there all the time, you know, it's very random when I am in there, but if you catch me, you know, say hello, you know, I'm, I've always got the name Total, uh, Total hyphen MK, you know, you can't miss me. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to say and uh, enjoy the review. Hi there guys and girls, welcome to the next in my series of Mortal Kombat Conquest reviews. Uh, we're now up to episode 5, which is called The Essence. Now, um, The Essence is the first episode where we get to see a uh, new introduction of characters like uh, Katana, Princess Katana. Um, we see a Shadow Priest. Um, we see a few things in this episode which make it, you know, pretty good. But as far as other episodes go, I enjoyed Cold Reality and Immortal Kombat a lot more. Um, although this episode was good and put together well, um, I just, uh, the stakes just weren't high enough in this episode for me, because um, it, it deals with uh, the whole fight for Adenia, you know, uh, Katana wants to save Adenia's soul, which is, uh, you know, in this flower, um, that's, that's the soul of the realm, and if they, she can protect that, they can one day bring their realm back to life, um, but the thing for me is, you know, that's that's old news. That's history. That that realm's been conquered, and while it's an interesting story, it's just not current enough for me. Whereas um, when <coughs> um, Sub Zero went after the crystal, you know, I dealt with the current issues. You know, Khan could invade now. Uh, in Mortal Kombat, again, you know, right here, right now, Mortal Kombat. You know, it just worked a lot better for me. But anyway, I'm going to talk through, talk you through the episode. The first thing I'll say is, in the series of Mortal Kombat Conquest, there were two katanas, played by two different actresses. Act, 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 actresses. It's getting late here. I shouldn't do YouTube video reviews late. Um, the first one was by Dara Tomanovich. <laughs> I, I practiced saying this, and now, now, 
Tomanovich. Uh, it's obviously Russian, hard for me to say. Um, yeah, she's done a few things, not many. Um, I haven't seen her do anything. I just looked her up on IMDb. Um, she hasn't done anything since 2002, but I actually liked her. I thought she was a really good katana. Um, I thought she, she, she was pretty, she was good looking. Um, she was a good katana, you know. Um, the other actress that played katana, Audrey England, was also good looking. Don't get me wrong, but I think I prefer this katana just a little bit more. I don't know. I just had something, something about the look. Um, she was only in this one episode of Mortal Kombat Conquest. Um, the funny thing is, uh, I remember I was watching. I went through like a diagnosis murder stage, like a year or two years or something ago, because. Um, it was always on TV when I'd wake up. I'd, I'd wake up and flick on the TV and it'd be on. And, like, I'm a sucker for, like, mysteries and that. Even though I can, like, sort of... I've seen so many, like, I've seen Columbo and all that. And pretty much any mystery show, I can pretty much turn it on and, and be very close to the answer, like, straight away, you know, of what's going to happen. And I remember I turned on this Diagnosis Murder episode and there she was. She was on that. And uh, recognised her straight away because it was, like, right after Mortal Kombat, she did this episode of Diagnosis Murder. Anyway, enough of that. Let's talk about the, the episode now. Um, it starts off with a woman being tortured in Shao Kahn's throne room. Um, she's screaming, hey, please help me. And um, the shadow priest is like torturing her, which is cool. But the only thing, he's just using a branding iron, which I thought it would have been cool if he was doing some sort of magical thing. You know, shadow priests have all sorts of weird powers. Um, and yeah, he's torturing this, this woman, and um, she's saying, I don't know anything, I don't know anything, and then Shao Kahn makes his entrance, he walks in, and says, she is lying, you know, which is cool, and then she says, I'm not lying, Emperor, I promise, you know, and then um, this other woman's dragged in, Kali, who is Princess Katana's best friend. Now, something strange about this. This, this woman, Carly, I swear it's supposed to be Jade. And I don't know why. Maybe there's some reason. Maybe I'll have to think about the Mortal Kombat story. But maybe there's some reason they didn't want Jade in the show. But they used an African-American actor, actress. Jade's obviously... Uh, there's an argument going on. Is, is Jade black? She's not... I don't think she's black. She's tan. But obviously, you know, the skin colour's matching, right? And then they have, they talk about the history about how they're best friends and they grew up together. Blah, blah, blah. That's like the story of Jade. So I don't know why they didn't just call her Jade. But anyway, yeah, they they drag her in, and uh, you know she says, "Why are you torturing this servant girl?" You know, and Shao Kahn says, "Servant, sure things. You know, listen to their masters." And um, and then she says, "Why am I here?" You know. And then they, they have a bit of back and forth talk, you know. And then, um, yeah, the Shadow Priest says, I'm convinced this woman's telling the truth. And he just says, shut her up. And he just takes her out. The Shadow Priest just kills her. And then um, Shao Kahn looks at Carly, walks up, looks her right in the eye. And says, uh, he says all this stuff. And then he ends it with, um, I, I hope for your sake you're telling the truth. Otherwise, there'll be no release from your pain. Which is a really scary thing to say. It's cool. He, like, puts the fear of God into her. You know, and, um... Then, then you know... You see a scene where Vorpax was watching the whole thing, but they, they didn't know she was there. She was just sort of spying, you know. Then the intro rolls, um... And then we go to our heroes, who are having a sauna. Now, <laughs> this is pretty much plot filler. Um... There's a few, a few scenes in this episode which are just there to, just to fill a gap, you know. They're having a sauna, they're talking about the past battles they've had, and this, uh, Taj is talking about this new woman she's met, and uh, she runs the sauna, and she's let her use it for free or some shit, you know. And they're sitting in there enjoying the sauna, and then the, the woman comes in and says, oh, I hope you're having a good time, and she walks out, and then Sarah realises she's just there to steal their money, she steals their money, and then... That's the end of that scene, which is sort of pointless. Then we go back to Katana, who's now talking to Kali, after Kali was, you know, talking to the Emperor. And, um, you know, Katana's asking what happened, you know. She said, you know, they killed Maya, your servant, and that. And uh, 
Kitana says it's just like him to attack the weak. And then um, they talk about leaving, uh, leaving for the Earth Realm to protect the essence, you know. Uh, and and um, Carly puts up an argument, says it's not worth our lot, it's not worth the risk, and that. And uh, Katana says, "Well, it's worth it for me," and and then she agrees to go with it. Then we cut to Shang Tsung and Vorpax now, and Vorpax is filling in Shang Tsung. So you know we've got two teams now. So we don't have really two teams. We're gonna by the end of the episode, we're gonna have three teams involved, and in what's going on? Um, Shang uh, Vorpax tells Shang Tsung, you know, about the Shadow Priest torturing the girl, and um, about how Shao Kahn's looking for this something called the Essence. And then Shang Tsung says, yeah, that's the essence of Adenia. Shao Kahn wants, wants to crush that one thing. That's their last hope. Adenia's last hope. If he can crush that, that's it for them. You know, they'll, they'll join his team. You know. um, and then so Shang Tsung sends Vorpax out to, um, to follow Kung Lao or, or to follow Katana and, and go to the essence. And then he'll intervene and try and get it and give it to Shao Kahn. And hopefully the, Shao Kahn will let him out of the cobalt mines. But, uh, hmm, not everything goes as planned. <laughs> um, then we, we go now to Katana and Kali, who've arrived in Earth Realm, and they meet up with this fellow called Duran, who apparently is another Adenian warrior. And uh, he says, Adenian is ready to rise again because you're here. And she says, No, because uh, Jack Arn's learned of it, um, the essence's location. And he says, Yeah, it must be moved immediately. She says, I agree. And then he tells her to go to Kung Lao. He says, go to Kung Lao because they'll be following you. you know? the and uh, she to agrees. No, Shao Kahn has the then we are... Okay. Um, yeah, then um, they obviously go to the trading post and... Uh, He's the only one you can trust. Yeah, uh, Taja, Ciro and uh, uh, Kung Lao were... We're talking about how they were robbed and Kung Lao and Zero were like, let's find that thief, you know, and they walk off and Taj is like, whatever. She goes back inside and Kali attacks her. And this is where we get the first fight of the episode, Kali versus Taja, which is a, is an okay fight, you know. Uh, results in uh, Taja losing and Kali's about to finish her when um, Katana comes in and tells her not to, you know, and then Kung Lao and Zero come back just in time. I'll come back at the same time, and Katana says, I need to talk to you, Kung Lao, and Taja protests, saying, you know, uh, they're dangerous fighters, and it's not safe for you to go up against two of them, and then she says, okay, uh, just me and Kung Lao will go, and Kali will stay here, so that's what happens, she stays there, you know, and then um, they they go to see Duran, because they he wants to check out Katana's story with Duran about the essence and everything, and when they get to Duran, he's like, about to die, you know, he's on death's door, and um, he says, you know, Kung Lao says, who did this to you? And he says, outworld woman, you know, and then he looks at Katana and he says, the Empress stepdaughter, then he dies, and then um, Kung Lao looks at Katana, and, oh sorry, he says, Shah Khan's stepdaughter, yeah. then, uh, yeah, he dies, then um, Kung Lao looks at Katana and says, Shah Khan's stepdaughter, you never mentioned that, you know, and starts cracking it. <laughs> and uh, they have their little fight, the second fight of the episode, you know. But it's not really a fight, it's more... Well, they fight a bit, and then so Katana sort of runs away. And then um, Kung Lao picks up the dead body and says, Katana will die for this, you know. <laughs> then we uh, we cut back to uh, Taja, and uh, Taja, he's talking to Kali. You know, she's just bought us some bread and, and fruit. And Kali's freaking out, picking out on it. I mean, these are delicacies, you know. And Taja's like, you know, bread and melon, you know, because it's just standard stuff. You know, and then she says, she goes, you don't have those where you come from? And she says, once an abundant, now very scarce. And then um, Taja said, I don't believe any of that outworld crap. <laughs> That's one of my favourite lines in the episode, actually. I don't believe any of that outworld crap, you know. <laughs> and then... Um, yeah, Carly says, pray you never know those horrors. The horrors of Shao Kahn and Outworld. Then we, um, we cut back to Vorpax and Shang Tsung. 
Vorpax is reporting uh, what's happened with um, Katana and Kung Lao, how Kung Lao thinks uh, Katana killed Duran, and Vorpax mentions that she's the one who did it. So, and uh, Shang Tsung likes that, you know, he says maybe, you know, Katana will, ki will kill Kung Lao. And Vorpax says, you know, is she good enough to kill him? She's, and Shang Tsung says, you know, she possesses unique powers. And uh, he says her age alone gives her an advantage. And Vorpax says, but she's his age. And then he says, Katana is almost 10,000 years old. And then Vorpax says, I've got to get her skin cream. <laughs> and then uh, Shang Tsung says, she's a Danian. They live many millennia, but can be, still are mortal, but can be killed, you know. So, obviously, I slipped that in there for people who don't know that the Danians live thousands of years, you know. And then, um, yeah, he sends her back to follow, go after the essence. Um, then we get, uh, go back again to uh, Ciro and Taja, they, and they realise Carly's gone, she's escaped. She's nowhere to be found. And then uh, they've got nowhere to find Kung Lao either. And this is, this is another one of my favourite parts of this episode, actually. They're, they're like, the only way we can find him is to call Raiden. So, <laughs> so Taja says, so she starts calling Raiden, Raiden, Raiden we need you, damn it Raiden show yourself, <laughs> nothing happens, and then uh, Sarah says, you, you didn't think that would really work did you, she says, oh well, Kung Lao's on his own, she walks off, and then Sarah's like, Raiden, Raiden, <laughs> I don't know, I find that scene really funny, you know, he doesn't show up, <laughs> And then, um, <laughs> I don't know, I just find that scene funny, I think that's funny. And seeing uh, mortal humans who have no ties to mortal combat whatsoever calling the Thunder God. <laughs> Would he really show himself? Who knows? Um, okay, then we get, then now we go back again to Katana who's still chasing Kung Lao. She throws a fan near him and it digs into a tree and then she tells him to get on his knees or the next one's in his heart, you know, and he just does, which I, which I saw, always thought was sort of weird. Um, it's not like he couldn't just like, you know, do one of his roundhouse kicks and like deflect the fan or something, you know. He's Kung Lao, man! I, I thought it was sort of weird. He sort of just submits to her. And then she explains, you know, what happened. King Jared was her father and Shao Kahn came in and killed him and, and her mother killed herself and, you know, she became the stepdaughter. It wasn't her choice, blah, 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 blah. So then Kung Lao joins her team. And then uh, she explains what we need to do and move the essence and she needs him to do it because, you know, obviously she's being followed. So Kung Lao then goes to 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 the temple, which is where the essence is. It's the order of light. And she goes to he goes to move it and it's this uh there's this wall with this um pouch hanging, you know, and a vine around it, this flowery vine around it. And he goes to grab the pouch and then Carly shows up, you know, and then he starts, you know, having words with her and then um he says, why did you kill Duran? She says, I didn't kill him. And then um, Volpax reveals herself. She, he, she says, she's right. She didn't kill him. I did. You know. <laughs> and then she jumps down. And, and then this is the first time Kung Lao's met Volpax. She says, she, he says, uh, who are you? And then Carly intervenes and says, her name's Volpax. She's in prison with Shang Tsung. And she says, who sends his best? And then... Uh, Kung Lao starts fighting four packs and then Carly joins in so you've got a three way fight now which is pretty cool the third fight of the movie three way fight you know, it's pretty intense it's a good one um, I'll show you that now actually I'll show you that fight now check it out fight I did who are you? her name is Vorpex she's imprisoned with Shang Tsung who sends his best
then I'll take it. No, Shang Tsung. I won't let you take it. And you know you can't fight me. Not until the next Mortal Kombat tournament. A brave warrior. Hiding behind the rules of the Elder Gods. Kitana, allied with the Emperor's mortal enemy. How interesting. Remember who you're speaking to, sorcerer. I am a princess. Indeed, which makes you a royal traitor. If Shao Kahn learns that you've left her Cobalt prison, you pay with your life, Shen. <laughs> the Emperor will give me his thanks and my freedom when I present him with the essence of Adenia! The essence! Wait for me, you son of a... Alrighty, so that was the fight. And then, uh, you know, at the end, you know, Shang Tsung shows up, you know, and, uh, you know, Kung Lao says, you'll never have the essence. And then Shang Tsung shows up and says, then I'll take it, you know. And then, and then uh, here we have Kung Lao um, and Shang Tsung having a bit of back and forth talk, you know. And now Kung Lao said to him, you know, you can't fight me. And then Shang Tsung says, and Shang Tsung says, you know, you're hiding behind the, the rules of the Elder Gods. So Kung Lao has wise, wisened up since the, the uh, last episode. Since uh, Raiden gave him that hard lesson, you know, about having to embrace the rules. So now he is embracing the rules. And, um, yeah, obviously Shang Tsung says, you know, I'll just, I'll just take the essence. And then, uh, and then he, he opens a portal on, on the wall there. But just before he does that, while they're talking, Kung Lao grabs one of the flowers. And the portal opens and it burns the whole vine and then he dives through the portal and grabs that pouch, you know. And then um, you see uh, Shang Tsung and Four Backs, they're back in the mines and then she's like, open it, let's see what it is, let's see what the essence is. And they pour it in, he pours it out and it's like maggots, you know. And then she says, maggots, the essence maggots. And then Shang Tsung just gets, you know, he's been, he's, he knows he's been duped. And then he says, you know, the Emperor will know nothing of this, you know, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And then they say, stalemate, you know, they can't say anything. They can't talk about leaving. They can't, he can't say that the Emperor got the essence because he didn't, you know. So he, they're back to square one. All that for nothing, you know. And uh, then uh, we go back again to Taja and uh, Kung Lao, uh, not Taja, sorry, uh, Katana and Kung Lao. And she's talking about how the essence is lost now, Flourishing. you know. And then uh, Kung Lao Shanks produces Shanks. the flare and says, or not, you know. And then she says, maybe... Uh, I just realised uh, before Shang Tsung burnt the vine that the essence was the flower, you know. And then she says, uh, you know, that's okay, we can plant the flower again, you know, we saved. And then they talk about the essence, the, the essence of Adenia, the soul of a whole realm being in the flower. And that's pretty much that. Um, then the episode ends with uh, two things. Um, Raiden finally shows up and um, talks to Kung Lao about Katana, about how they have a lot in common because the same thing happened to Katana, but she couldn't stop it, you know. She she couldn't stop the invasion, whereas Kung Lao did. He won Mortal Kombat and he did stop it, you know. That's why they have something in common. And then they, they even mentioned that uh, <laughs> Taja and... Um, oh, no, 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 yeah, sorry. Just before, I should say that, um, just before Kung Lao talks to Raiden, and he talks to Taja and Ciro and he says, I'll tell you what happened, you know. And then Ciro says, yeah, Taja even tried calling Raiden. <laughs> and he says, did he show up? And she says, no, some guard. Oh, didn't, <laughs> didn't even hear me or something. And then you hear, oh, this sure. guy. <laughs> he says, I'm not sure, so, not so sure, you know. Then he goes up and then he talks to Katana briefly and she leaves. Sorry. Then he talks to Raiden, sorry. Left that out on my little my little board there, which was a bit silly. But um yeah, then they have their, they talk about the history, you know, and uh, how that what that's why they have that in common. Um then the the episode ends with 
uh, Vorpax talking to Shao Kahn, which was a surprise. Everyone was like, you know? <laughs> and it turns out Vorpax is a spy for Shao Kahn. She's telling him everything that's going on, and, and you know, she's obviously his whore. And <laughs> so, you know, Vorpax has a lot of secrets. So pretty much that's it. That's it for the essence. Um, that's my little take on it. You know, there wasn't really much I could add to this, um, to this episode. You know, there's only a few things that I really liked. Um, that were pretty cool about this episode. I love that scene where they try and call Raiden. It's hilarious. But um, yeah, it was a good episode. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. I liked the immortal, the immortal combat a lot more and cold reality. And some of the other episodes I liked a lot more than this one. So. But this was a good one. I wouldn't say it was a bad one. I liked it. Um, yeah, the, the acting was good. It was good see, having, you know, there were three fights in this. Uh, it was good seeing that three-way fight, you know, three people fighting all at once. It was pretty cool. So, um, yeah, that's it for my uh, review on The Essence. Uh, I should say, uh, I'll, sh I'll show you guys how, how I'm sort of doing this, just so you guys know. I'll show you. Uh, so yeah, I went out and bought a little white Ford. So, you can see how I do this now. Uh, what this is, basically, see, I know all the episodes, right? But sometimes I'll talk about them, and I'll get the, the order of things mixed up. So, what this is, is a map through the episode. Um, it's just point by point, you know. It's just, see, Shane, Shao Kahn, Carly, Vorpak. See, I've even spelled Carly wrong, I just realised. But um, it's a, that's the first scene, you know. Then I've got the intro, you know. Then the sauna scene, you know. It's just real basic things to sort of get me through uh, talking about the episode. This is how I'm sort of doing it now. So, uh, yeah. Sort of show you that. And, uh, yeah, it's working. It's turning out pretty good. Uh, I forgot one thing in this one, but, oh, well, you know, nothing's perfect. You know, there's no script. This is just go by the memory, you know. I'm a... I'm, I'm a Mortal Kombat fan, I know I'm most of it, I'm passionate, but you know, I like to try and keep some sort of order or try and keep it right, you know, because some of the videos I've done before, I've just, I've said things and I've watched them back and I've gone, you know, fuck, I said everything but wrong or backwards and I've just freaked out, I'm like, nothing I can do, it's on, it's on YouTube now, you know, <laughs> so, but yeah, thanks for watching, I just thought I'd show you guys that and, um, yeah, I'll see you for the next one, the next one, episode six, uh, I believe it's, Noob Saibot, uh, Noob Saibot, Noob Saibot, or Shadow of a Doubt, I'm not sure, I believe it's Noob Saibot, so I'll see you for that one, thanks for watching.